My sleep patterns throughout the season are really important to me. Yeah, I think that that eight hours we hear a lot. Um, you know, I try and stretch that a little bit. Um, I'm looking sort of nine, ten if possible, because we know obviously things can affect you. Night before a game, I, I have to get my eight. I'm a little bit petty about it. I think sleep's definitely been highlighted by our performance staff and our group um, in particular. Uh, you know, being away from home, there's, you know, sleeping in a different bed every night, It's there's no bed like your own. So that's always a challenge and adjusting to. So I think we've really focused as a group to make sure we are getting a good night's rest and, and you know, nutrition, all those things that go along with it as well. What we're trying to do is we want our players to be able to perform at their best for what the coaches need every single day of the week. So I guess if we've got a negative sleep pattern or just negative sleep habits in general, we're just not going to be able to get that from them. Sleep is our number one recovery method, so it allows us to uh, rejuvenate ourselves musculoskeletal ways, um, neuromuscular system and psychologically as well. So crucial for us, um, particularly while we're on the road as well. I know me personally, you know, all the, all the studies done and different research and things that we have access to as athletes, that's definitely opened my eyes to sleep, how much that can affect, you know, your brain function and also your, you know, performance in terms of focus, clarity, all those things, decision making. So for me, I want them to be as high as possible, especially in my position being a point guard. So um, if sleep's one of the things that's going to help me, you know, perform on the day, I'm definitely going to take notice of that. While we're on the road, away from home, we want to try to keep our sleep patterns as as regular as we possibly can to what we'd be at home. So uh, I guess we structure everything that we do so it kind of goes in line with what we're at home. So we have breakfast scheduled at the same time, we train the same time, lift weights at the same time. So we try to keep everything as routine as possible and then that kind of transitions well into their sleep. Let's go. For us to perform as individuals and as a team, Recovery is, recovery is crucial. So the stresses and the physical demands that the sport itself puts onto the players and then having to repeat that day in, day out for training at a really, really high threshold with the coaches and then game day where maxing guys out, um, the better we can recover them, uh, the better they're going to perform on the next match day and then and even just little things like reducing their chance of an injury. I think I've always kind of been on top of my sleep, um, something I've always focused on, but you know, to anyone out there who is a younger athlete or an aspiring athlete, I think the importance of sleep's huge, you know. I definitely, when I was younger, maybe sort of teens, um, I definitely maybe didn't prioritise it a lot and I really noticed, you know, when I became a professional athlete, how important that sleep was for me and recovery and the ability to back up, back up, back up. You know, when you're playing, um, you know, junior basketball, you might only train on a Tuesday and a Thursday night. Um, maybe that sleep doesn't affect you as much, but when it comes to being a professional athlete, we're up, you know, our, our job's to be there at 7 a.m. and potentially leave at 3 p.m. So sleep is really important. It's a long, long period of time of physical activity. So the only way that your body's gonna be able to maintain itself is, you know, if you are sleeping. Tips to implement a good sleep pattern is, first of all, routine. Keeping a pretty strict routine of when you're going to sleep. Uh, so when, first of all, when you're going to bed, when you're going to sleep, and then keeping a pretty regular wake cycle as well. So everything kind of comes into play with it. Uh, keeping a nice cool room, that'll help you actually fall asleep quicker. Um, a nice dark room, uh, limited light, so you want to try switch off even little things like if your iPhone charger in the wall has got that ambient light, covering that up um, to make a nice dark, good sleeping environment to sleep in. And then particularly, I guess, in the modern day era with technology, kind of switching down your iPhones and, and laptops and that sort of stuff those couple of hours before sleep. Um, putting them into night mode if you are going to be on your phone just to take away that blue light. One thing I do love doing before bed um, is having just a cup of tea. I usually have like a chamomile tea or something like that. The boys will laugh at me for that one because they, uh, they say I'm wild Kyle, but I'm definitely not wild. So I like having a chamomile tea before bed. Um, I find that helps me a lot um, just before I brush my teeth and then um, that kind of, you know, there's a few different agents in that that can help you relax as well. So um, that's really worked for me.